Hey everyone, Garrett from Tate Nyoko here. If you don't know, Tate Nyoko is the flagship store for Naked Famous Denim. We're based here in Montreal, Canada. And we're up in the warehouse right now with the boys. We've got Terry, we got Vincent, we got Justin, Tristan, myself, my name's Garrett. And behind the camera, we have Vinny. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the staff fits. As usual, I'm gonna grab the camera and Vinny's gonna go first. What's going on, y'all? You know we got the brimmy on. We got the circular knit in black. And we got the 11 ounce. You Wait, belt? Oh, the belt. You know, we got the nat veg tan, you know what I'm saying? And we got the Pumas. And what, what jeans? Oh, the 11 ounce. Perfect. Stretch. Go nice. get it. All right, so today I am wearing uh, the Silky Flowers Aloha shirt. It is probably my favorite Aloha shirt that we've ever made. It is just as it says in the name, very silky, very drapey, super lightweight and comfy underneath. I have a tank top from the Beaumarche. Uh, if you've been watching the channel or you watch the live streams, Beza has probably talked about the Beaumarche, so I won't uh, go into that. I've got my Veg 10 thick belt as well, my Elephant 5s, and I have um, Wesco Boss Knuckle Draggers, Olive Waxed Flesh, and uh, in my pocket, I got um, Benchmade Fact with a deep carry pocket clip on there. And a Good Art Club Ring. And I think that's it. Terry? All right, I'm gonna step right in. Love everybody, it's Terry, I'm back again. As usual, I got my classic North Star hat there from my favorite from a place located right here in Montreal, just down the street on Saint Laurent. Again, like Garrett, I'm wearing the Aloha shirt, this time in Silky Flowers Black. Uh, again, one of my favorite Aloha shirts. It's rayon and coconut buttons. It drapes beautiful. Great for staying cool on a hot day. Got my lovely G-Shock. I always keep it on my hand every single day for 10 years. Same battery, no change. I love it. Classic belt. I always got the two belt. I got my Veg Time belt there. I've had this for a year and a half. Coming in real fine and it holds up my Elephant 11S, which are back here. And today, the change is stacks. I'm bringing stacks back, baby, and making stacks great again. Um, cool thing about jeans is, hey, you can always choose how you want to choose your hem or cuff or whatever. So I can't make up my mind. I just switched up. So today I'm feeling stacky, which are hiding my Vans Y Custom. So thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, we did not plan This on. was not planned. This was this not was planned. Plan. We both just showed up in the morning and both like, ha ha ha, yeah, it was matching. So. All right, who's next? We get Tristan. Um, Tristan's next. He's playing with the pack and peanuts. Yes, absolutely. So this is a white shirt, easy shirt. Uh, I forgot the name and I cut off the tag, so couldn't tell you what's the model. Uh, dusty rose uh, pants, black belt, black thick belt, um, with uh, shoes from a brand called Azure. So that's pretty much it. What watch you wear? Same as last week, the, the patty, Seiko what, patty. What are your glasses this week? <laughs> this. <laughs> Explain yourself. <it all. laughs> there you go. Dirty glasses. Are they I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, who's next? I'll go uh, next. I'll go next. All right, we've got the uh, Vincent over oh, here. Well. Young Vincent in the cut. Same thing as always. White circular knit tee or black, um, brown uh, seven millimeter belt, keychain with all the keys to everything. I have my groovy guy, natural indigos, and uh, his little loafers over here. And no knife though, no knife, unfortunately. It's rusty, so. What about the glasses? The glasses, super glued if you can look really close, so. Where are they made? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey guys, um, hope everyone's doing well. So same as usual. I was gonna wear something different today, but it was gonna rain. So. <laughs> I was, yeah, I swear. Uh, always the same, circular mint black, my vulgar three strong guys, my Nike blazers in white, the watch, uh, and my miscellaneous street ring from last week. <laughs> street Which street ring? I said it was Saint Laurent last week. It was Saint Catherine. I found it on. That's where the Saint 
Patrick's Day's parade is. I messed that up. So if you lost your ring, if you lost your ring, you lost it. It's my map. You're not getting it back. Finders keeper. Finders keeper. Finders keepers, keepers, keepers right keepers. off the person's ring in the back. All right, Terry, <laughs> give us the warehouse update. Everybody, so a quick warehouse update here from Terry. Uh, as you well know, we're starting the fall winter season for 2023. That means we've already had some of our released out. I know you guys have been gobbling up those herringbone jeans. Fantastic. That is the first of many to come. So right now we have all the new jeans lined up, ready to go. So we have our Sea Island cotton coming out. And then after that, we've got some Sumi inks. And then we have stuff in the warehouse just like lined up, ready to deliver fresh, juicy denim goodness right into your hungry, hungry hands. So that's what's going over here in the warehouse. Cool, cool. All right, so we'll do a sale update. Sale update. Sales. There's a big sale coming. Yes. What kind of sales? A Labor Day sale. And it is starting on today. Wednesday. Today. Today. Wednesday. If you're watching this on yeah. the day it came out, it is on right now. So you can head over to the website uh, and it's going to be going to the next Wednesday, which I believe is the 6th. So the 30th to the 6th. The 30th should be today if you're watching this on the release day. And yeah, head over to the website for the Labor Day sale and check out lots of great deals on tons of items. Speaking of which, everyone here has picked an item, their favorite item. So uh, let me go first. I'll show you my picks. Surprise, surprise. What did I choose? Ta -da. So I, I honestly really love this shirt a lot. Uh, we still have them available in the camp collar. And we have the black and the blue and i can tell you i can i know tristan has one terry has two colors i've got this one bezad has one reza has one i'm pretty sure we pretty much all have vincent you have one i do have one yeah. vincent has one as well so i can tell you they're a big hit i highly recommend you pick one of these guys up uh for the labor day sale all right terry you want to go next all right so i'm gonna go for a terry classic it is a work shirt this is from last year. So I have all of the loose vintage flannels are on sale in the work shirt. So we have with this red one, we got the cookies and cream brown one. And I think we have like a couple of blue ones left. They are all on promotion. And another thing, our work shirt has now changed to the over shirt. So this is gonna be your last chance to grab it in this more fitted fit. So if you like the basically just kind of the next to skin feeling of our work shirts, grab these here in these wonderful loose vintage flannels because they will be changing and this is your last chance. So enjoy that. All right, all right. I chose the um, linen black smart jacket. This was a great jacket in my opinion. Great to wear for the upcoming fall season, maybe over a hoodie, maybe over like, you know, a little crew neck. Um, three by way construction, three by one, excuse me, construction, a little like uneven slubby texture. If you can see that really close, um, little two pockets here nothing too complicated. Classic. Can't go wrong with it. Is it available in natural too? Uh, natural I think there is natural, there is natural, but not as much as black, but I like the black personally because it, it goes with everything. Can't, black can't go wrong. Nice for fall too. Oh yeah, definitely. A little green sweater. Mm -hmm. Olive pants from here. Okay. Wow. All right, then I'm gonna go next. Uh, I picked out the five ounce chambray easy shirt. The chambray fabric doesn't really like, doesn't really get much classic than that. Classic workwear fabric. It's a beautiful Japanese milled chambray fabric. Some, like it doesn't, it's classic. You know it from everywhere. Get a nice close up. It's got subtle naps in there. It's not super obvious, but if you look up closely, it's super, it's beautiful. This is gonna be my next shirt for sure. This is from the 23 collection, the spring, summer 23 collection. Oh no. <laughs> I'll take this one. I'll take this one. <laughs> but no, it goes with everything. It goes by itself. It goes with a jacket. It goes with jeans. It goes with dark jeans. It goes with light jeans. It goes with pretty much any shoe you want. Classic workwear. Get it. Never I'm getting it. Style. Never goes out of style. Okay, Tristan. Yeah. Hey boy. So I picked the pickle Ricks. These over here, which are uh, you know from the Rick and Morty collection. Uh, these uh, were their texture is inspired by by a pickle. So extra slubby with a green cast, uh, making your legs look like pickles. What does green cast mean, Tristan? Green cast is basically like their dyed indigo, like uh, a good old classic pair of uh, denim. 
Uh, but on top of that, there's a, a, a light, a slight green hue added uh, on top. And so it makes it a very slight uh, differentiation in, in terms of colors. I don't know if there's like a... No, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> but yeah, if you put them next to another, let's say Terry's, uh, these would tend towards a, a more pur purple-ish tone because of the, the you know standard will be red cast and these tend to towards a, a, you know, a green cast. And so slightly greener tone. So it's not necessarily green or it won't stay to green. Uh, but it has a green hue uh, showing through. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, of course, you have that amazing ostrich patch, little uh, pickle right there, and the salvage uh, detail, which is, uh, you know, it's bright green. So, yeah, there you go. My pick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we all out here getting the Szechuan sauce, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I do know. We do okay. Know what you're Terry's pick. <laughs> okay, great. We're going to go straight into uh, the Terry pick here. So I know I want to say a big thank you to all the mega super fans out there who kept their ear holes wide open during last week's stream and knew the correct word was courgette. So courgette, I said it like six times. Everyone put it down. I got creative spellings. I got friendly notes. Like we really, really appreciate it when you guys send us these fun messages there. Trust me, we all read them. We all enjoy them. If you put a joke, we like it. We'll send you a little reply. We like having this little interaction discourse. But, you know, there can only be one winner, right? There can only be one winner, one lucky, totally impartially chosen super fan who gets a special pick of the day. And today, this fan is Ian from Victoria, BC. So Ian, we're gonna go pick your order here, right here, live on the YouTubes. We'll do it live because you're a super fan and we'll see what type of little extra you throw on the top. So we're gonna start off with a work shirt that I was just talking about, the cookies and cream, as I like to call it. It's right over here where we keep all of our shirts right down here in the shirt dungeon. I have it strategically placed over here. What does courgette mean? Courgette is a fancy way to say zucchini, although it is the standard way to say zucchini in some parts of the world. Um, courgette, just to make life a little bit trickier, we like to call zucchinis courgettes. So we got half the order here. We got this lovely vintage flannel and brown and blue. We're going to set this side aside. We have one more order, we have another belt, but we got, this person is obviously an individual taste. They're choosing the exact same belt as what everyone else is here is wearing. This is the natural veg tan belt. So let's go get a fresh one. So come with me here, Vinny. Go right down here into the dizzy camera, right down into the belt zone. Come on down. You know, less than my trip, we aren't Jair Springer. We're getting the full, the full tour, right by Jack. Hey guys. Around the corner. Oh Lord. Boom, we got our belt rack here. So you find belts from us. We have all shapes and sizes, but this is the one that we need today. So what a beautiful example. And I love doing this for everybody here, a quick before and after. This is what you can expect, Ian, plus anyone else who gets a belt from us. So this is exciting. We're going right back up here. Zoop. Back up here, Vinny, back up here with the belt the belt for the person who's a super fan of our brand. And we are looking forward to shipping this out to you right away, plus maybe a little bonus. I wonder what the bonus should be for this lucky, lucky mega fan. How about the fan knows everything? What would be a cool little surprise for this individual? How about maybe a poster? Did you know that we also sell posters here? We do sell posters. Let's grab this guy a nice big poster. So one last little bonus. Ian, you're super cool. We really, really love this little poem, not a poem, but paragraph you wrote for us here in your comments. I mean, we enjoy the interaction and we're super happy that you took this all the way and wrote us a really big story. We read it all, we love it. So to show our appreciation for a mega fan, we're gonna throw in a special denim poster. So these are really cool posters. These have the tragic blonde printed on them. And on the other side, it's all denim, salvage denim, I might add. So Ian, thank you so much for this. We'll get this shipped out to you right away. And I hope you enjoy the order. And if you guys stay around to the end of the video, I will show you the new word of the week. Wait, tell them more about the poster. Oh yeah, this ain't a paper poster. This ain't no paper poster. Let's talk about it. Let's take this out there. Let's just, uh, Ian, I'm sure you don't mind us showing off your new toy. So if you get the poster from us, this is what you're going to get. Yeah, then. Right way around. 
So yeah, it's yes. a printed on denim here. It has metal rings in six places. So you can like hang it up on string like we have over here. Uh, it is on a salvage denim. Let's see if you can get that salvage line right over there. If you, you know what fabric it is? I do, I do not know dirty what fabric fade. this is. Wait. Yeah, it's the dirty fade. It's a dirty fade? Yeah. Is this See, really? Even Justin knows. Oh, it's printed hey. on the dirty fade. That's right. This guy knows. So I want to remind yeah, everybody that we actually okay. do sell these things. We sell skateboards as well. But this is a great item reminding you what it is. And also, we want to give Ian a big mega thank you for being part of this cool word of the day promotion. Pick of the day. So everyone who guesses for this sale pair, I know there'll be a lot of you guys getting on the sale, you want to put like the special word of the day in there, we will find some way to make each and every one of your orders special. And of all of you, there'll be one lucky winner who gets a special prize from us. Okay. Stay tuned next week, we'll show it to this. And we're going to tell the, the word of the day at the end. You gotta, you gotta wait right to the very end, yeah, watch, watch to the end, this way we know end. you've seen everything. Yeah. And you're a true mega Naked Pimps fan. Cool, cool. All right. So if you want to put that stuff over on the scale and we'll get ready for today's uh, feature, what do they call it? Feature event. Yeah, yeah. I think so. The main event. The main, main event. event. The main the event. PPV. So uh, last, uh, maybe it was, I forget if it was the last episode or the episode prior. We did a, a jeans battle. So we had a natural indigo versus, what did you have, the dirty fade? I had the dirty fade which was the true winner, by the way. I think mine <laughs> won. If you check the comments, I think people said I, I crushed it. But uh, that's okay, because uh, today we're gonna have a different battle. Uh, we're having the fade battle. So it's gonna be the first fade battle. So the way it worked was I went around the building, I found a really cool pair of jeans. Terry found a really cool pair of jeans. We both don't know uh, what each other picked. And uh, we're gonna see who's got the cooler fades, and uh, so I'm gonna start. Jeans reign supreme. Spoiler alert. It's I mine. have it in this uh, nice Tatinyoko bag here. If you come in store downstairs, uh, Tatinyoko Montreal, you can buy a pair of jeans or anything and get one of these nice paper bags. But inside, what do I have? Oh. oh. Yo, that blow up though. Terry's yeah, he's, 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 he's shaking in his right boots. Now. He's shaking in his vans. What do I have here? Let's check the care tag here. It is a weird guy. Size is worn off. Okayama Spirit 5. And for those who don't remember the Okayama Spirit 5, which was a while ago, it is an Indigo by Indigo. Yeah. So it says black on the inside, but it looks like indigo by indigo. Anyways, so it's a very dark jean. This one we actually had sent in recently. I don't remember who. The pocket bags are black, so we couldn't write the name on it. But uh, let's take a quick look at these jeans. First of all, you can tell these were intensely faded. An indigo by indigo starts and stays a lot darker, so it just won't get as light in general but these are some pretty heavy fades. We got little holes appearing down here, all the slub yarns showing up nicely. A lot of fading around the knee area. Again, holes starting to form on the knees. Whoa, we got a big hole here on this knee. Oh, actually, it is, it is Indigo by Black. They did not lie because you can see um, the weft yarns there popping through those black weft yarns. So Indigo by Black, coin pocket, nicely faded, little pink selvage line i love pink selvage ids that's actually my favorite color on the, the selvage id thick patch back here look at that nice mm, almost like a steak on the back <laughs> it's rare, it's <laughs> rare. <laughs> we got a nice double cuff a little bit of dirty cuff action there you can see how dark that uh, fabric originally was right there we'll put it let's do a little side by side what's that kind of what's that kind of hemp called this hem? Uh, I don't know. You heard it here first. Tokyo turn up. So there's a little side by side before and after. A lot of fading um, and rips forming along the bottom. Let's check out the back. This is where things get extra spicy. Woo! What happened here? I don't know, but there's a hole that's been repaired nicely on the back pocket. I again. Not sure what was going on here, but I think that's a pretty cool, neat feature. It looks like he had his wallet in this back pocket and his phone in this one. 
And then, oh my God, before we get to the most, my favorite part, just look at those combs. Just look at it. Would you look at this? <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. These combs here. And my favorite part is we got some repair action, the sashiko stitch on both of the lower parts of the, the back of the thigh. And it even comes around a little bit on the front and in the crotch area. I think that is just one of the coolest repairs you can do. I wish I knew how to do this. I don't. Um, but maybe someday I'll give it a go because I just think that is the coolest repair. And that's why I chose these really sick Okayama Spirit 5s. Let's get a full shot of those. And there's the back. Actually, one more small detail. You can see that like all of the antique copper has kind of worn off of the hardware. So it's got like a gold brass finish going on there. So that's my pick, Terry. All right, so you know, I'm gonna say it's not a bad choice there by my adversary. I mean, those are no doubt, no doubt a nice pair of jeans. They definitely loved a lot, but I think you and I will agree that the next jean that I have here pulled out is the true winner. So I scoured our fade log, our fade log and I have this lovely pair of elephant fours that I wanna share with you here. So, Elephant fours, fantastic. Size, unknown. Weird guy fit. So these guys are definitely a lot older than the Okama Spirit 5s, but these are also similar in character. So we got a dark blue indigo with a lovely super dark weft. So when I talk about fading, the most important thing for me is getting the character of the person who wore the jeans into the jeans. I really want to see a story. I want to see a personality along with like high contrast and damage. So when I see a pair of jeans like this, I'm absolutely thinking story, history, love. This person loved their jeans. Let's come over here, Benny. Let's see if I can get some bit of sunlight. Come around here, Benny. Let's let, let the people see oh, you're the cheating majesty. Now. You're cheating. Yeah, yeah. All right, here. So there we go. Again, the recipe for good fading is heavy weight plus a darker weft. So you're gonna get these lovely blues that will pop against a darker background. The thicker the fabric, the stronger and heavier the creases and the faster that they will kind of grab that friction on the outside and wear. And they'll look a lot more defined. Starting right here on the front, we have a lot of these whiskers around the front. The top area here, extremely well-defined. So we got big, big contrast. The blues are super dark, the whites are super white, and we got a lot of that dirty, natural dirty fade action happening over here. These jeans may have been dirty. So we'll look at all the way down here, look at the asymmetrical knee fade. So I really felt this. I saw this and right away, I had a flashback to being here, toiling away in the warehouse on one knee, bending, looking for jeans. I felt that whoever this person was, they are on one knee a lot. I'm talking all the time. Moving down here, look at this. Damage here, damage here. You know what this means? Wonky cuff action. I'm all about the wonky cuff action. I'm seeing myself in these jeans. When I look at stuff like this, it's a reflection of myself. Come over here, Vinny. Just beginning for young Terry over here. The beginnings. Whoever wore these jeans, I feel like we're kindred spirits already. So I feel a connection with them. Again, look how dark it is here in the unfaded zone, protected by the cuff. Look how light over here. Look at these strong, strong lines right over the knees here. Plus, you wanna talk about combs? These are the best combs in the game. Kapow! Bang, right over there. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this. It's like Michelangelo himself went over here and painted these combs on these jeans. I think these are like home run hits, mega winners here. We got tiny little like micro bust over here. Probably these jeans weren't washed a lot. A lot. How can we tell? They started to fall apart. <laughs> they started to fall apart. But you know what? I like that. It looks like this guy was going for like, you know, the Rudy, uh, the Rudy Swiss dream freak treatment, the no wash, keeping it pure. And I can respect that. And you will get results. You'll get championship results over here. Got a classic crotch blowout. Hey, that's Gene Life. Crotches blow out. Looks like it's been repaired. Did he pay for it? Did he do it himself? Who knows? But it's got the personality. These are his jeans. While it fade, probably not. Looks like a keychain fade to me. Classic in the back pocket. These jeans are so heavy, the belt loop couldn't hang on, so this one kind of gave up a little bit. Doesn't matter, protect this cool lap patch. A very similar patch there, but mine's better. All right, again, I wanna close this out by saying personality and amazing, just fantastic, mega home run, super 
heavy hitter combs. This is why these jeans are obviously cooler than guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. We have the Okama Spirit 5 and the Elephant 4. So go down in the comments. Let, let us know who you thought won. Do you think these amazing Okayama Spirits with the Sashiko Stitch or the cracking combs uh, <laughs> is, is the best. Don't let him say that about you. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, so hit us up in the comments. Let us know, uh, let us know who won. And if you have any ideas or other things you want to see in the next episode, uh, let us know. Oh, yeah, secret word. What's the secret so for word? all the mega fans who stayed around with us right to the very end, thank you so much for watching everything. Don't forget to watch us every week on Friday for the Bays and Misa live stream. And tell them that you heard the special word of the week here from me. Today's word of the week, today's bon mon kyo no hitokoto wa. It is gourd. The special word is gourd. I want you to write gourd all over the comments. Go on the sale, buy a lot of stuff, write gourd. Mash gourd in the keyboard, you'll get a surprise. One lucky person We'll get some cool extra special deal and we'll figure something out to we'll talk to him. Ask Bayzad, maybe Bayzad knows. Talk to him this Friday. Again, Gourd at Tatanyoko. Enjoy the sale. We'll see you next week. <laughs>